let's get back to our Namumoto action. Or even brains, as we have minus t d two sigma square root of minus determinant g alpha beta, and this is equal to minus t d two sigma into. Uh, we could we could we could solve g alpha beta separately and then write it down there so our g alpha beta is your del alpha x mu del beta x mu and therefore this would give me g zero zero is del zero x mu del 0 x mu this is x mu dot square this is x uh, 0 1 is del 0 x mu del 1 x mu this is x mu dot x prime mu and <coughs> so uh, I could okay g one zero is the same uh, g zero one uh, if this will be x prime mu x mu dot and g one one will be del one x mu del one x mu this is x prime mu x prime mu which is x prime square so uh, if i write it in the matrix form then this is x mu dot x mu dot x mu dot x prime mu x prime mu x dot mu x prime mu x prime mu and its determinant is x dot square x prime square let me write for short this into this minus this into this x dot dot x prime whole square i i hope you you understand this it just this is x dot x prime dot x mu this is x dot dot x prime okay so if you suppress this indices you can write it in this form and this thing goes back here so minus t into integral of d2 sigma okay then uh, this is and then it's minus so uh, minus determinant g alpha beta is x dot x prime minus x dot square x prime square and this then i so then this is x dot if you like i could retain x prime mu whole square minus let, let me drop it it's better x dot square we can we can change it back and forth x dot square x prime square and this has to be raised to the power one half okay this is raised to the power one half and for sort so is this okay that's okay yes so now we we have our action in this form ready with us and we could now
So uh, it be like we could also denote it minus t due to sigma. This is my sort and notation. We just put some square brackets because now we have to take derivatives of this. So this might be helpful. Okay, now <coughs> let's uh, consider the momentum phi mu and here I want to just put a subscript here because I will define two similar things therefore del L over del x mu dot. So the partial derivative of the Lagrangian with respect to the velocity here x mu dot. This is usual, this is usual canonical momentum, but I have just put a subscript tau. Okay. So this is then equal to uh, del L over del over del x mu dot. This is minus t into this object and this is going to give me minus t into one half raised to the power same square bracket raised to the power minus one half okay times uh, times uh, times the partial derivative of this object with respect to x dot okay so uh, of this object inside so I should have uh, twice of x dot x prime twice of this into partial derivative of this with respect to this so I am left with x prime and if I I ought to take care of mu is here then this mu is here up is there and what about this it's term by term minus x prime square remains untouched into twice x dot that's all and here I have a mu is this okay mm -hmm. and why is the integration of uh, sigma not included in the lagrange hmm? usually s is an integral of a time of the lagrange oh it's a density ah. this s accent yeah, l is the density Yes, yeah, so, so yes, that's fine. Yes, that's fine. <coughs> okay. okay. All right. Oh, yes, uh, it's my mistake that I so your I could make use of this as uh, equals to d to sigma mm -hmm. and to n. So we absorb this minus t times this. Okay. Uh, because actually t is a dimension full quantity therefore we keep taking it all the time but conceptually one could ignore it but at some point if you want to trace back the dimensional uh, dimensionality of the quantity of the term then you will end up in problem now i want to define yet another uh, object which i am calling it I am putting a subscript sigma now and uh, this is also defined y and this is defined by del x prime mu so this is del over del x prime uh, mu that mu dot this should be mu here this should be here of now minus t into i must put in square brackets now this is minus t into one half 
into resistance bar one minus one half. Now this object is to be differentiated with x prime. So twice x dot x prime times partial derivative with prime prime. So I am left with x mu dot and minus the same thing here. I do not touch this object and this is twice x prime mu. Okay. Uh, this quantity has the usual interpretation of the canonical momentum corresponding to the coordinate x mu. This quantity in that sense does not have a physical significance. But some people just loosely speaking, they refer to it as a, a canonical momentum corresponding to x prime mu, which I personally don't like very much. But let's just use the symbol. There, there is nothing wrong in defining this object. So we define this object. It's a well-defined object, and we call it by del pi uh, pi mu of sigma. Okay, so <coughs> now uh, uh, all right. Okay, so now we so we would need these expressions, and we eventually before these things.